Hello, I'm Tom from EDS Norwich and I'd like to show you today a short video to demonstrate the K-Diesel procedure for repairing Bosch injectors. The procedure consists of a few different tools and uh, we'll be showing you these throughout the video. The first item that we're going to look at today, this is the uh, 000 3235 dismantling jig. It's very important to secure the nozzle uh, to help prevent the fracture of the uh, pins from moving. Very simple item to use. Injector in place. Screw the nozzle into place. With a bit of force, you should be able to undo the injector. Right, the second thing that we're going to look at, this is the 003236. Uh, these are the tools used for disassembly and assembly of the ejector. In a very nice presentation box, and well laid out inside. Okay, so we're just going to have a look inside the tooling kit. Uh, have a few items here. Firstly, you have your clamp and block for holding and securing your ejector in place. Uh, secondly, we have the actuator sockets for locking removing the actuators. Um, we have tools here for removing the pilot valves uh, in a safe way rather than uh, tapping them out. We also have the tool for inserting them again later. Uh, we have the thread cleaner here um, and we also have the high pressure seal remover and the tool for setting the height of the high pressure seal once it's uh, ready to be refitted. Okay. The next item that we're going to have a look at is the tool 005073. This is for checking the pilot valve, checking that the seat is good and that it can retain high pressure. The tool is very easy to use, just take your pilot valve and slide it into place. Take one ball and put it onto the seat. Just wind it down into your position. Turn the air switch on and if we start to bubble we know we have some problems. As you can see, this one has failed. We'll now have a look at uh, possible reconditioning of this valve. The next item that we're going to have a look at is the 005075. We've just determined that the pilot valve is damaged, suggesting it has a bad face and is uh, no longer able to hold high pressure. We now have this tool that will hopefully be able to reprofile it and bring it back into uh, usable spec. To do that, uh, we have a few different grades of uh, paper from very coarse to very fine depending if you want to grind or, or polish. Now we're not actually trying to take a lot away, but just to reprofile the seat. Uh, so we'll just take the pilot valve, place it down the centre, take the paper. Forcing your paper onto the seat, just trying to clean it up. It doesn't have to be very long, you don't have to put a large amount of pressure. Once you're done, switch your motor off, and you're now able just to wash this out and again try back with your previous tool on checking the seat. Another tool in the range is the 005076. This is uh, simply cleaning up the seal marks off of your pilot valves. Um, but making it a better seal once refitting into the injector. So again, very simple item to use. Remove the retaining nut, place your pilot valve in, and secure. Switch your motor on, and taking another fine piece of paper, we're just going to clean it up. Once it's done, wash off and it's ready to go. Now we have the 005070. This checks the leakage between the pilot valve and the spindle. Um, again, simple to use. We just fit your valve into here. see a time delay for it to drop to 250. Uh, hopefully this will happen in less than five seconds. Up to 300 watts of drop. Uh, you can see why the slow 
so we're going to drop the pressure that these two faces are good in the ceiling. So we're now going to check between the bore of the uh, pilot valve uh, by loosening the base. We're just going to drop the pressure to 250. You then have less than four seconds to drop to uh, 200. Again, this is our slow drop. Uh, suggesting that everything is okay. These are the triple zero five zero six five gauge set and micrometer. These are used to check the calibration of the injectors, ensuring that the correct shims are fitted during the rebuild procedure. Okay, this is gauge one. This is for checking the height between the pilot valve and the pilot ball. Uh, we're hoping to achieve a perfect zero for uh, back leak allowance. So place the gauge in zero and simply slot it into place. Gauges two and three are used to decide what size shim, uh, magnetic shim, should be fitted to the uh, injector. So gauge two we take, we're, we've already pre-zeroed it, but we're just going to check the depth between the body. Uh, again we're going to take uh, gauge three, and we're now going to check the depth of the uh, actuator. We take these two figures, um, uh, make a small calculation and uh, determine the thickness of the ship. The final gauge, number four, is used for checking the stroke of the ball valve. Uh, again, we just slot her into place. Switch her on, make sure she's zeroed, and simply press the top. That's your figure. On the latest uh, generation in Bosch injectors, we no longer are able to check the stroke of the uh, ball valve with the gauge four. So here we have the triple zero five zero six six and the triple zero five zero six six five zero. This is just an electronic way of checking that uh, stroke. All we do is place it in. We're going to have uh, three times just to check what the stroke is. We can make adjustments later if need be.